Welcome to Vector Sports. My name is John T. Sargent, ahead of a huge weekend in the Premier League. It, of course, follows on from a bumper week of Champions League football, which, of course, saw Spurs set a record attendance at Wembley. However, not the result it wanted. Leicester City, they took to Champions League football like a duck to water with a 3-0 victory. None other than, of course, PFA Player of the Year last season, Riyad Mahrez stepping up with two of their three goals. This weekend, though, we start at the KCOM Stadium, Hull City versus Arsenal. Now, Arsenal were one of those teams in Champions League action this week. Sadly, couldn't get all three points away at PSG, but still proved to be a positive result. However, recent reports have found that Champions League weeks do take its toll on our Premier League outfits. In particular, what about this for a stat? Games following on from Champions League weeks in the Premier League only see our sides come away with an average of around 1.76 points per game. In weekends that do not follow on from Champions League football, our sides pick up an average of 2.18. So could that be a negative for Arsenal as they travel to Hull City this weekend? David Espino, of course, in between the sticks. He's proved to himself, he's outright said that the Champions League proves his worth to Arsenal and is happy to be second fiddle to Petr Cech. None other than, of course, if he is getting his cup fixtures and if he is playing in Champions League, who wouldn't be in an Arsenal side? Hull City, an interesting side this time around. Of course, they're looking at the likes of Leicester from last season. And they think that they can actually go all the way. They can be a team to upset the odds. We've already seen them start in fine, fine form so far this season. And this is a team that is actually without a full-time manager. It's meant to be in disarray in terms of the ownership. It's a team that hasn't sold out all of its season tickets, and yet still on the pitch, this outfit are doing the business, and Mike Phelan is putting himself in an incredibly, incredibly strong position to take that whole City job permanently. In terms of Arsenal, their main man, of course, Alexis Sanchez. What a start to the season he's been. Now he's been playing in the number nine role, which has been fairly different, of course. Olivier Giroud, we used to see in him start up front. We used to see in Alexis, perhaps, wide left, or as part of a manipulative three involving Mesa Terzel and a number of other quality outfits. Uh, and midfielders that, that Arsene Wenger has at his disposal. With Alexis Sanchez at the number nine, it poses a completely different threat to what we're used to seeing from Olivier Giroud. He's a player that will get in behind, that will go over the top, but at the same time is able to drop, is able to come short, and in turn go on and beat his man. Something that we're not used to when we've been watching the likes of Olivier Giroud. Lucas Perez, again, in, for, in line to be involved in his first Premier League game in the red of Arsenal. Could we see him perhaps move into this number nine role and we see Alexis revert back wide left? It's certainly going to be a decision that Arsene Wenger ponders due to the fact that Alexis Sanchez has been it in the back of the net and you can't take off a, a striker that's been, got, that's been scoring so far this season. A good percentage of your goals. Interesting game at the KCOM Stadium for Hull City versus Arsenal. Elsewhere, Manchester City this week proving the worth of none other than Sergio Aguero. For many this weekend, of course, they take on Bournemouth. Not necessarily given, as we can be expecting in the Premier League, but something definitely most Premier League fans will predict as a Manchester City win, right? Well, there is no Sergio Aguero after that elbow in his last Premier League outfit, although in midweek, he did only score a hat-trick. Could that be the downfall for Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side this weekend with no out-and-out -out registered goalscorer? Or is Calici Iheanacho going to step up to the mark and fill the Argentinians' boots? They certainly are big boots to fill. If not Kalichi and Nacho to lead the line, Nolito, the, I mean, the, this Manchester City side are full of quality, albeit we're, we're past the likes of, you know, seasons gone by when we've seen Edin Zeko, Sergio Aguero, Wilfred Bonny, all play second fiddle to each other, all be in rotation. We're now actually used to just seeing Aguero and Iheanacho. And Iheanacho being so young, has he got the pressure, has he got the cool head and strong strength of mind to take this pressure on and lead this Manchester City side to victory? We can all but wait and see, as we've already seen with Pep. He's no stranger to axing big names and, and making big game decisions. So if it is to fall on Ian Acho, I'm wishing him all the best. 